Today, we take a look at Tifa Lockhart from the Final Fantasy VII Remake. Considered to be the virtual crush of many male Final Fantasy fans growing up, she's an amazing agile fire and a strong candidate for Cloud's affection. With that, here are my reasons why Tifa Lockhart is waifu material. Minor spoilers for the first part of the remake. To this day, I still can't get over how gorgeous these characters look, going from this to this in the span of 20 years. Appearance-wise, Tifa is an absolute stunner, with long dark hair, fair skin, and a massive pair of eyes which comes in a reddish brown hue. She can normally be seen wearing a white tank top and a black support, uh, <laughs> which houses those massive Tifas of hers. On her feet, she wears some big red combat boots along with some thigh-high stockings. Around her shoulders, you'll notice some suspenders which are attached to a very short skirt, important for a mobility reason, which explains why she wears shorts underneath as well. Hey, at least it's better than Aerith's black void. As you can tell by her exposed midriff, Tifa is very fit and Cloud would agree. This girl. What's she look like? Well, she's in great shape. Is that really important? Wait a minute, you talking about Tifa? And I believe Andrea summed it up really well. Me? Your physique, slender yet toned, and that perfectly balanced symmetry. I can tell from a glance that you learn from the best there is. This level of fitness is quite apparent by the way she crosses these lighting fixtures with ease, and her ability to beat Andrea and even Jules in a pull-up contest. How much training do you do? <laughs> At other times in the story, Tifa can be seen wearing an alternate dress, which is dependent on what you pick as Cloud. The mature choice leads her to wear this rather revealing purplish blue dress, while the sporty choice leads to an outfit that reminds me of Chun-Li from Street Fighter. And lastly, the exotic dress has her all dolled up and wearing a beautiful kimono. Leave a comment below on which one you prefer. Combat-wise, Tifa can take care of herself. I'll be fine. You've seen how much ass I can kick? While most Final Fantasy characters rely on oversized weapons, Tifa is proficient in hand-to-hand -hand combat, where one time, she along with Aerith took out a room full of thugs, with nothing but her fists and those legs of hers. But when properly geared up, she wears a variety of combat gloves along with a protective red gauntlet on her forearm. Her basic attack combo is a flurry of quick punches ending with a roundhouse kick, and her triangle ability is a simple whirlwind uppercut. However, with the use of her unbridled strength ability, it can supercharge both of these techniques, twice. At level 2, Tifa's basic combo extends with some extra kicks along with a somersault heel slam. Her triangle ability also transforms into a devastating omni-strike shoulder bash. Now at level 3, her triangle ability becomes Rise and Fall, which is a wild aerial spitting kick combo. At the same time, Tifa now goes all out, further extending the basic combo and ending with a rather stylish superhero landing. Superhero landing! Now if you give her the deadly dodge materia, everything else in her arsenal essentially turns her into a human pinball, diving across the battlefield, constantly pressuring the opponent. She even has the Star Shower ability, which pretty much lets her go anime fast. Her first limit break is pretty simple, being a giant somersault kick. But her second limit break is kinda strange, where she does this cool spinning kick combo and a dolphin jumps out. By the way, if you give Tifa the parry materia, she has the fastest animation, letting her slide faster than she can run. Pretty much making her unhittable, well, most of the time. Despite being such a badass fighter, it's kinda funny and cute to see Tifa all scared when they were at the abandoned train yard. Ghosts aren't my thing. <sighs> You're just being modest. After you. To be fair, there were actual phantoms haunting the place, and even weird glowing ghost children. Whenever she's not out committing eco terrorism with Avalanche, Tifa works at her very own bar called Seventh Heaven. Uh, so then, what can I get you? And she really knows how to make a proper drink. Well, most people would say something sweet right about now. I'm sure they would. Ah, uh, but you're a more discerning customer, aren't you? In which case... Our house special, the Cosmo Canyon. Beautiful. I gotta go. Something tells me he wasn't talking about the drink. As you can tell, these two have a bit of history. Growing up in the same town, they share a special bond with each other, even an ongoing promise between them, which is why she can rely on him so much. 
just hug her, dude. Now, the story never officially declares if these two end up together, but there definitely is a romantic tension between them. <laughs> Where'd you get that? I can't remember the last time I saw a real one. Huh? How sweet. When did you get so thoughtful? That and Tifa can sometimes seem jealous. How do you two know each other? I saved her. She saved me. Round and round it goes. And that's all there is to it. Sure there isn't something else going on? Um. Despite being rivals in the fight over Cloud's affection, the game treats us to many scenes portraying the friendship of Tifa and Aerith. Good job, Aerith! It was nothing compared to you! <laughs> How about this then? Think of something fun. After saving Sector 7, you're gonna... I'm gonna... Go shopping. Topside. I'll buy stuff for the bar, decorations, coasters. Can I come? You'd better. Then it's a date. <laughs> Cloud can carry all our stuff. He'll be our pack chocobo. <laughs> what was that about me? Nothing. <laughs> These two can often be seen working together throughout the game. At one point, Tifa even saved Aerith from falling debris. <laughs> And another point that I can give to Tifa is that she has a better sense of balance than Aerith. Despite being part of the controversial avalanche group, Tifa always means well, often wanting to do the right thing. I know we have to think big if we're going to make a difference, but not like this. I just... I feel trapped. If it feels wrong, don't do it. While on their way to bomb the other Shinder reactors, the team was compromised. And naturally, the security system kicked in. To avoid casualties, they rushed the passengers to the front of the train. What are you doing? Trying to keep you alive. But I work for Shinra. I'm the enemy. I don't care. I don't want anyone to die. Please. I'll look after the others. My turn. At times, Tifa can be a little wild, where she climbed the tower during a firefight with an attack helicopter. Fortunately, Rude saved her by distracting Reno. <laughs> What the hell? Nice catch. You're crazy. Just like you. So suck it up, because I'm not leaving. I'm guessing this is a reference to the original game, where Rude admits that he likes Tifa. The funny thing is, they haven't even met each other at this point in the game, so I guess it was love at first sight. So what do you think about Tifa? Would you choose her over Aerith? Be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment on Tifa Lockhart, our favorite bartending pinball.